Yeah. All right, There's you're right. That I apologize. So let's go and look at this. Now, again, guys, I will give you polar paper so you're not going to have to like worry about doing the circles. Polar paper. It basically is an x, y axis with rings on it. OK? So because trust me, I made the mistake one time. I said, oh, you guys do your own. And then noticing how everybody's circles looked, I realized that was a horrible mistake, right? You can already look at my circles. It looks, like, looks bad, right? But anyways, 3 tells you the radius. So we're going to be using the outer ring, correct? Then we just need to find where is negative 3 pi over 4. Well, obviously, guys, positive this way, negative this way. Halfway around circles, 4 pi over 4. We need to be pi over 4 short, which is, again, right, that's the angle. So that would be your coordinate point. Again, I'm doing the dotted line. That's not part of the graph, but I'm just doing that so we understand the angle. Right? So then the next thing is, can you convert that to rectangular form? Well, yes, based on the equations that we are given that we are not going to be able to use on a test or quiz, I need to know um, these values. So uh, let me rewrite them again. So anyways, you guys have x equals r times cosine of theta, and y equals r sine of theta. So 3 times the sine of negative 3 pi over 4. Now the nice thing about negative 3 pi over 4 is do we know what the reference angle is? Pi over 4. So do we know what that coordinate point pi over 4 is? Square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, but it's in the third quadrant, so that means, that means they're both negative. So that's 3 times negative square root of 2 over 2. And this one is y equals 3 times negative square root of 2 over 2. So to find the cosine, you have to find the reference angle, and then just plug in the coordinate point to the reference angle? I mean, that's basically what I do. I find the reference angle, find the, angle, uh, find the point of the reference angle in the first quadrant, and then just based on whatever quadrant I'm in, I make the x, y negative. And there you go. This is a lot easier to graph than that. Hopefully you guys understand, agree with that. Even if you're removing dirt from your fingernails.